Ehrenfest's theorem consists of two equations, and the basic idea of them is that expectation values of quantum operators satisfy classical equations of motion. Now one of the equations has to do with relating position and momentum, and the other equation has to do with relating momentum and the potential energy. It's the second one that I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to derive it for you. It's not a long problem, and the way it works is really quite satisfying. The way it uses the Schrodinger equation and the elegance of the relation and the, the intuition behind it is so cool, it's really quite a gratifying problem to do and to see. So here follows the math section. Ehrenfest's theorem consists of the following two equations. We're going to prove this one in the box there in this video, and we're going to do it really just by directly calculating the quantity on the left, and we'll find that its value is that on the right. We remember that the expectation value of the momentum can be expressed like that in integral form because this particular value there, h bar over i d over dx, is the value of the momentum operator in the position basis. So let's take a time derivative of this. We just directly apply the time derivative to this quantity and we use the product rule and this is the result we get. Now we can recognize that the time and position partial derivatives commute and write it like this. We can now use the Schrodinger equation to usefully re-express the time derivatives. So this is the Schrodinger equation. We can complex conjugate it to get this and then divide by ih bar in this case and minus ih bar in this case to arrive at these values for the time derivatives of the wave function and its complex conjugate. We can then insert that, multiply it out, and in the case of two of the terms, factor out a common coefficient. From here, we can integrate by parts to move two derivatives from this wave function factor to the complex conjugate over there, which gives us this, and then we see these two terms are equal, so they cancel. That gets us here. So now we can see that the value of this time derivative of the momentum expectation value is simply this through use of the product rule on this last term there. Then we find that these two things cancel, and we ultimately get down to here. But then this is just the expectation value of negative the derivative of the potential. It's just the expectation value of the force. So then we've proven exactly what we were looking for, this equation here. One of the equations that basically says expectation values satisfy classical equations of motion. It turns out this beautiful, really elegant result actually isn't too hard to prove. The math looks a bit complicated, but of course it's actually not bad at all, and it's pretty short. So now you've seen how to derive the momentum potential relation of Ehrenfest's theorem. I hope you found it as satisfying as I did, and if you didn't know this before, I hope it helped you. I hope it helped deepen your understanding and knowledge of quantum mechanics. If it did help you, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Dietrich out.